So here we go, race of champions, race number one. All right, we're gonna retire from the session. You see El Majaco there behind Forza Alonso, working the outside though. Going down into turn one, here we go. Ooh, I think Majaco made it work. El Majaco in the McLaren. Getting around Forza Alonso for first. But Alonso's got to run right here. Look at him. Down the long stretch. He's going to go to the, oh, the outside. Nothing there. But now he's got the inside line. Majaco's going to have to give way. Side by side. Through the double complex. Oh, man. We got a good race. This is race of champions. Round one. This is a 1v1 three lap best of three tournament right here 32 drivers entered into these races they have whittled it down to your two grand champions and here we are watching it unfold right before our eyes your leader Forza Alonso slightly ahead of Elma Jacko Elma Jacko coming off a win in the PRL race at Russia Going to try a tighter line there, see if he can get a good draft. Oh, he knows he's got him in the slipstream. Alonzo's trying to break that draft. He protecting the inside. Here comes Majaco. And he's got him comfortably. But Alonzo's going to try to fire back. He knows if he can get to the inside. He's got the inside. Ooh, over the curbs, real close. Got to watch that front wing. We saw contact from these guys in the PRL race. He's side by side again. Majaco's got the inside lane, but if Alonzo can hold tough, he can get the inside for the next corner, and he does it. Pass for the lead for Alonzo. Majaco's holding tough to the outside, though. Trying the over-under. Gonna think. No, they're side-by-side -side contact. Contact between the drivers. Alonzo is gonna stop on course and allow those guys to get back. Just hard racing. They're going to close it back up again. Clearly, the, the, he felt like that there was maybe, maybe he wasn't really at fault, but he didn't feel good about it. So he was going to wait for Majaco to get caught back up there. Though that's, that's a lot of respect between these two guys. They're clean racers. They like to race. They, they like this battle right here. And if he felt like maybe there was a you know a little bit of an unfortunate deal, he's going to allow him to come back up. You know he could have just continued on, had a chance to win this race easy, but he's not that kind of competitor. And here he is allowing him to come back up and giving this another shot. And you saw Majaco take the lead away down the front stretch. Alonso's got work to do. We don't know what kind of damage is on these two cars. But Alonzo's definitely going to make an attempt here. Uh, why are we on the in-car broadcast? Come on. Come on. Final lap here in Race of Champions, race number one. We've seen contact between these two guys. Look at how tight the battle is. A little bit of a slip there from Forza Alonzo as he tried to get on the inside. We've still got some straightaways to go. I don't think DRS will be enabled for this race. Oh, Majaco runs wide. Alonzo closes the gap. He's going to look to the outside going into the stadium complex. Side by side, these drivers go. Alonzo to the inside. He makes the pass, but there's contact again. Now comes Majaco back around. They're side by side. We can't see it. Alonzo makes the pass stick, and he's only got a couple of corners left. He's going to win this race. Round number one of the race of champions goes to Forza Alonso. Holy moly. There's a lot of contact in that race. A lot of contact. We saw Majaco spin. Alonso allowed him to come back. They went into the stadium complex. A lot of, yeah, fire the director. That's the problem with the broadcast view. When they want to go to in-car, they can just do whatever they want. And even if I switch back, it, it'll still do it. Yeah, a lot of drama in that race. The next session begins in 10 seconds. We've got 
at least one more race to go. This is a best of three series. Alonzo with notch number one in the books. He's got the advantage, but we're going to start him up again. Sa I sound like the nothing, the CS GoPro from Cloud9. I've not heard that. I've heard plenty of uh, of guys that I that I sound like, but I've not heard that. Ohio State of Mind, appreciate the follow, my friend. O H I O, baby. I am a uh, a Buckeye football fan. Uh, from a lot of my good friends in Columbus. Got a lot of good friends in Columbus uh, because uh, we were Columbus Crew season ticket holders for the soccer team. Uh, got to know a lot of those guys over there. And if, you, if, you're, if you're hanging out in Columbus, Ohio, drinking beers in the various uh, soccer pubs and everything else, you, uh, you are an Ohio State fan. You, there's no Michigan love. There's nothing there. So <laughs> the only option. So here we go. Race number two here of the best of three series. This is the race of champions. And right now, El Majaco is facing elimination. This is your grand final, and it can end. Dubsy says America has soccer. Yeah, I get, you know, for, for you Aussies, you call it football down there, I'm sure. We call it soccer. But there are, you know, there's a, it's growing for sure. Used to work at Crew Stadium on the grounds crew. That's awesome. Yeah, we used to sit over in section 102, I think it was, of Crew Stadium. So right next to the Nordec. Had a lot of fun up there. Haven't been up there in a long time. Need to get back up there, actually. So here we go. The race is about to start. I'm going to hop out. As you can see, we have a new track on hand here. I am retired. Don't go up there and wreck him. All right. So El Majaco in the lead. What is this? China? This is China, isn't it? Yes. Majaco in the lead in the Sahara Force India. Forza Alonso in his familiar Haas car. This is so Dubsy's saying this is Majaco's best track. So now you know this is Majaco's chance right here. Uh, Dubsy, I calves all day calves. LeBron should come through in the clutch. Going to be a good series, but I think it's calves. I don't watch much basketball, but uh, I do typically try to keep an eye on everything um, in the finals. So we're here in China. Dubsy, his teammate, says this is Majaco's best course, and we can see him. This is not as close as it was in Mexico. Obviously, very different course. But you can see Alonzo right there. This is a long straightaway. This is the longest straightaway in Formula 1, if I'm not mistaken. And he's been able to close the gap there with that slipstream. So we'll see if Alonzo can do anything. This is race number two. Majaco has to win. This is a must win for Majaco. I couldn't tell if that was latency or if he actually got a little loose there. Didn't seem like the gap changed much. But Majaco has to win because Alonzo has win number one in the, in the bank. This is a best of three series. Dubsy's all for the Nuggets. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm a Stephen Curry fan. He's a, he's a, good, he's a good player. Yeah. As long as Majaco has no mistakes. It, so far, he looks to be comfortably ahead. We're not, none of that side-by-side, -side, super close, wheel-banging action we saw at Mexico there. But Alonzo's not going away. Don't count him out here. We can't count him out. But Majaco has control right now. See him running as hard as he can through here. The arrows real close. But Alonzo lost a little bit of time there. I do not know what the last track is. Actually, this was a surprise for me. I thought maybe we'd get Mexico three times. But here we are in China, and I'm not sure where we're going next. Maybe if Aaron is in uh, 
maybe if Aaron is in the chat, he can let us know. I'm not sure if he's in or not. But down the long stretch. Forza Alonso able to close the gap here just a little bit. But not quite enough. Majaco holding firm in a must-win race. Race number two of the best of three series. He's got to win here or he is eliminated. And Forza Alonso would become the grand champion. Appreciate the host, Dubsy. This was a 32 driver tournament whittled down to the final two and you see him here. Two stars of the Precision Racing League. El Majaco, who was last year's PRL season champion. And Forza Alonso, who is the is the all-time wins leader in PRL Formula 1 competition. Majaco, of course, won tonight's PRL event but is down one to nil in this series. Has to win this race to force race number three. So far doing everything he needs to do. But this is the final lap. And Force Alonso is close. He's within striking distance down this long straightaway. Majaco's got to try and break that slipstream because Alonso's coming. He's coming. Protecting the inside lane is Majaco. Here comes Alonso. Will the pass stick? He pushes hard in. Majaco able to hold him off. Pushing him wide. No, Alonso gets the pass done. Final lap. Majaco has to do something here. He runs wide. It's over. It's over. Majaco done everything he could. He done everything he could. But Forza Alonso takes the win. Round number two, Alonso wins. The series is over. Your race of champions champion from 32 drivers to one. Forza Alonso 14 with the last lap pass to win in China. Wow. Holy moly. I thought we were going to push round three there. But Forza Alonso makes it happen. <laughs> Little UBC, thank you for the cheer, my friend. I appreciate that. Glad you were able to stop in. Wow, we had an exciting one there. Unbelievable. Late, late pass for the win. Yeah, and he led all of that so far. Unbelievable. 